So my last video, I showed you exactly how to frost your LEDs, your crescent, and black out your housing. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install upgraded LED switchbacks in your headlights, eyebrows, and crescents, and how to wire them up. So the LED strip that I use for this job will be the Profile Pivot um, switchback strips. I use a 9 inch for the crescents and a 24 inch for the eyebrows. So the LEDs, they come with obviously the LED strips, a pair, and then they come with a driver. The driver has three wires, a ground, power, and turn signal wire. And then it has a connector that plugs into the LEDs. So the LEDs has a long enough connector that can be routed outside the headlights. And then that connector can be plugged into the driver. So installing the LED strip is pretty straightforward. You just, they come with a double side tape at the back. You just paste it in the channel where the eyebrow used to sit. And yeah, just paste it there. And this is a profile pivot um, switchback LEDs, 24 inches. Now for the crescent, you're going to take your 9 inch switchback strip. And if you remember we where the OEM one sits, you're going to remove the OEM one and then you're going to paste the strip on the backing of the enclosure. So right here where you see me showing you exactly where, you're going to paste it the backing right there. But you want to make sure it lines up with the holes so it's going to be a trial and error. So when it's done, it's going to look like this, paste at the backing. And then when you cover it up and everything, it should look like this. So there's multiple ways in wiring up your um, LEDs, switchback LEDs. So firstly, we'll talk about power or supplying the white light to your LEDs. Now we will be either tapping into pin one or pin eight. If you tap into pin one, your lights will always be on once the car is on. And when the car is off, it'll turn off, obviously. Pin one is DRL. DRLs are always on when the car is on. So that's one option. Option two is pin eight. Now pin eight only turns on if your um, headlight is turned on, meaning a switch. So if you always run your headlight switch on auto, which means your lights will always turn on when it's nighttime and off when it's daytime, your LED switchbacks will react the same. So it will be on when it's night and off when it's daytime, unless you manually switch that headlight switch on. So if you wire to pin A, you have accessibility of turning on and off the LEDs. I like option one where I'm wiring to pin one, where it's always on. It looks better, you don't have to worry about turning it on and off or having it on auto. So, so if you wanna do option one, you go to your headlights, harness, and then you count. There's a picture showing you exactly where to count on pin one. You follow that wire and you tap into that wire. So you connect both the crescent white wire and the DRL white wire together to make one white wire and then connect that to your pin one wire for your DRL. If you want to connect it to pin eight, do the same thing. Find pin eight on the harness, follow that wire and then connect your white wires to that wire. And that's how you get power. I already told you where to tap in so you can get your power. Also, some of these clips you're about to see are old. So the clips you see where I wire the wires outside the headlights, these are old clips. I no longer wire the, the lights like this. I instead wire it through a grommet. That would be a much more efficient and very cleaner way of doing it instead of drilling through the headlight cap and then hot gluing it. Just for the sake of this video, this video is an old video of me first doing it for the first time and just bear with me and my quality has changed throughout you know me doing this a bunch of times so if we go over here there's two drivers one driver is for the crescent the other driver is for the um the um, eyebrows right so i plug those in already and i drilled a hole through my headlight cover so everything can be you know sealed up obviously all the white wires on the prism driver goes together and then that goes to the, the power wire I showed you then all the black wires they go together and then I'll show you what to put this on the car 
all the orange wires they go together and they have this butt connector right here and this butt con not butt, con butt connector but this plug connector and this plug connector is going to be plugging or hooking up to your um, turn signals and i'll show you how to do that so that's basically it that's the whole thing two drivers crescent eyebrow and yeah that's how you wire it up all right we're in the car now i'm about to wire these headlights up so you want to get your turn signals this is how you find it so when you unbolt all your or unplug all your plugs from your bumper if you have sonar sensor or whatever sensor this is that's what this cable is but bumpers all these bumpers are going to have this cable for your turn signals you can see the top now the top one you can see a black and a red and then this obviously is going to connect to this little plug right here and my car the right side you're going to see a black and a purple it's a black and a blue i believe black and a blue and the left side same indicator cord your um turn signals i'm going to connect to this and on this side it's going to be a purple and black wire so on the driver's side, tap into the purple for your left turn signal. On the passenger side, that same cord that connects to the indicator, you tap into the blue. So this cord only has two wires, so just tap into that blue for your right, and then purple on the left side for your left. And then for ground, just find any place on the chassis. I'm gonna put a bolt right here, then ground it out right here for my ground. And that's basically it. So I'm gonna show you how I type everything up. Um, the orange wire from the driver, I just extended it and used one of these um, wire taps into the blue cable that goes into this the bumper indicator. That's my side marker is blue wire. And on the driver's side, it's the purple wire. Same thing, orange um, wire from the driver. That's my side indicators and I'll show you how it looks when it's on.